Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I'm here with another Stratomatic computer game. It's been a while since I played a Stratomatic computer game. In fact, I don't think I put up a Stratomatic computer baseball game in November yet. So this will be another one of my matchups of two teams from two vastly different um, years. We are going to have the Washington Senators of 1970 taking on the 1985 Milwaukee Brewers. Both teams were roughly equivalent. The 1970 Senators were 70 and 92 in 1970. And the 1985 Brewers were 71 and 90. And as you know, my track record on this game is very poor. I usually lose when I take whoever I decide to take. Therefore, I rolled a 20-sided die to determine which team I would take in this game, and it turns out that the 20-sided die said you are taking the 85 Brewers. So that was mandated, so if I lose, if the Brewers end up losing to the Washington Senators, at least I know I didn't decide that I was going to pick the Brewers. Uh, the 20-sided die did that for me. So, pitching today, as you can see, for the Washington Senators will be Dick Bosman. And for me, I'm going to have Moose Haas going out to the mound. The starting lineup for the uh, Senators will be Ed Brinkman at shortstop, Del Unser in center field, um, Frank Howard at, in left field, Mike Epstein at first base. Aurelio Rodriguez at third, Ed Stroud in right, Paul Casanova at catcher, and uh, Bernie Allen at second, and Rick Reichert in DH. And over on my side, my lineup will be Paul Molitor at third, Robin Yount in left, Cecil Koopa at first base, Ted Simmons at DH, Ben Ogilvy in right, Ernest Riles at short, Paul Householder in center, Jimmy Gantner at second, and Charlie Moore at catcher. Now, now the reason I picked these seasons is I loved both of these seasons in my Stratomatic set. I love the 1970 set. It is an awesome set. Um, and I also love the 19... Well, I really like all the 1980s, but... 1985, yeah. I mean, you know, that's the year I graduated high school. So we will get on with the game with all of that having been said. And we are, as you can see, in Old County Stadium. Loved Old County Stadium. All right, really, I didn't. Uh, didn't I never, was never even there, but uh, I got to admit. But... <laughs> but anyway, we will get underway with Ed Brinkman batting against Moose High. And that looks like that's going to be a ground out to Riles. And it is. Del Unser is up. Del Unser in his, it looks like, Cincinnati Reds hat or maybe Cleveland Indians helmet. Uh, I'm not sure. Probably Cleveland Indians helmet. And then Frank Howard. Two down. Moose Haas might get out of the first unscathed. And he hits a deep fly ball. No, not a deep fly ball. It's a little pop-up. And it's going to be an out for Householder. And now we are going out and batting against Dick Bosman, who's got his uh, Cleveland Indian hat on in this particular photo of him. And he's facing Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. And he is going to pop out to Bernie Allen. That brings up Robin Yount. Robin Yount, one of the best players you would have to think on the 1985 Brewers. And he's going to look like pop out to Epstein. And that's what happens. And now you got Cecil Koopa in his Boston Red Sox hat in the photo. And he looks like he's going to ground out to Epstein. So uh, both teams go one, two, three in the first. And we move on to the second with um, Mike Epstein batting against Moose Haas. Moose Haas only at 12 pitches so far, um, so he's 
been pretty economical. Aurelio Rodriguez is up with one down in the second. And he hits a relatively deep fly ball to Ogilvy, but he makes the grab, and now you've got Ed Stroud up with two down. Ed Stroud looks like he's going up the middle, and he does get a base hit up the middle. So that's the first hit for Washington with Paul Casanova, the catcher. And uh, Stroud tried to get a lead, and he couldn't. So Casanova, though, is going to maybe go into the gap. Paul Casanova into the gap. And that's a triple for Paul Casanova. Get out of here. All right, so Bernie Allen is up. <laughs> oh, my God. Whatever team I control, the team is going to lose. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, it is only one nothing in the second. So we go to the bottom of the second. Ted Simmons is up. Hall of Famer Ted Simmons, newly minted, relatively newly minted Hall of Famer Ted Simmons. And he is going to pop out to, looks like uh, Rodriguez, yeah. Ben Ogilvy with one down. Ben Ogilvy with a liner right at Bernie Allen. And that brings up Ernest Riles. Look at that Ernest Riles card from 1985. I don't even know if that's really a 19 with you but it is a card that looks like from the 80s love those tops cards too from the 80s all right so we get no runs there we go back out to the field and we're pitching to rick Riker. i think i'm friends with him on facebook so anyway he it's a an out he's out ernest riles throws him out ed brinkman up Back to the top of the lineup, looks like. And, uh, yeah, and then Del Unser. And Del Unser gets a board. What was that? It's in the dirt. It was an error. Error on us. And Frank Howard up. You don't want to give Frank Howard a chance with a guy on. And uh, that's why. It could be a home run, is it? No, it's just foul. They'll try it again, and he strikes out, right? So, yeah, uh, they got no runs there. We go to the bottom of the third. It's one nothing. Paul Householder up against Dick Bosman. And he has been real. Bosman has been really economic. Householder is out, and that brings up Jimmy Gantner, the second baseman. I love those 80s um, Brewers uniforms, too. Although the newer ones kind of are a little bit of a, pay a little bit of a homage to the older ones, and they're nice, too. Charlie Moore, Householder is on, but Charlie Moore went down. So there's two down with Householder at first and Molitor up. We could use a nice, like, doubles, triple. Really couldn't use that, whatever that was, because it looked like it's a strikeout. So we're back in the field, top of the fourth. Washington up Mike Epstein against Bruce Haas. That's a strikeout. Aurelio Rodriguez is up. And that's going to be a fly out to Ogilvy. Two down. And Ed Stroud is up. And that looks like it's going to be a strikeout. So we're back at the plate. Batting against Dick Bosman, bottom of the fourth. Robin Yount up. And he is going to. Ground, does he get a base hit? He does. So Robin Yount is aboard. Cecil Cooper up. No outs. And that's going to be maybe a hit in the hole. No, it's a double play. 6-4-3 double play. And that brings up Ted Simmons. And Ted Simmons is going to get a base hit. So we got a man on with two outs. 
and Ben Ogilvy up. And Ben Ogilvy is going to be out on a strikeout. So it's still one nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Moose has up, or Moose has pitching to Paul Casanova. And Paul Casanova, did he go deep? He did. Home run for Paul Casanova, and Washington has a 2 nothing lead. And that brings up Bernie Allen. He is going to fly out to Ogilvy. So there is one out, and Rick Reichert is up. And he is going to throw him out. Riles throws him out. So there's two down and Ed Brinkman up. And Ed Brinkman is going to ground out. So up, Ernest Riles um, is at the plate. Bottom of the fifth. And he's out. And that brings up Paul Householder in his Cincinnati Reds uniform. And there's two down and Gantner up. And he's out. We go back out to the field. Top of the sixth. And that's going to be hopefully a ground ball. And he it is. Frank Howard is up with one down. And he's going to line it right up the middle. So there's a base hit for Washington with Mike Epstein. Mike Epstein is going to fly out to <coughs> Householder. So there's two down here in the top of the sixth. Washington holding a small two-run lead. But he lines out, and now we are back at the plate trying to get two runs. Charlie Moore up. Who knew that Dick Bosman was that good? He lines it out up the middle for, um, no, I'm not even going to try that. Let's just hold right there. We've got Paul Molitor right behind him. No need to try to press things. Although there, that would have been a great idea. Although he did move more over to second on the fielder's choice. So maybe we've got a hope here. Robin Yount. Robin Yount is going to... Ground out to Brinkman, and so now it's up to Cecil Cooper to get us a run to knock Moore in and get at least one run here. And he might have done it. I have to send the lead runner because we're not going to. Uh, no way. And it worked. So it is two to one now. And Ted Simmons up because we, I mean, runs are at a premium here. And he strikes out. So the score is two to one, slim lead here for Washington as we go to the top of the seventh and Moose Haas pitching to Ed Stroud. And that's one away, Casanova is up. Casanova looks like he might have, uh, yes, grounded out to Riles and that brings up Bernie Allen. And Bernie Allen is, what is he going to, is that a home run for Bernie Allen? Get out of here. All right, it is caught. Thank you. So we go to the bottom of the seventh, down by a run. Ben Ogilvy at the plate. Bosman still pitching quite well and not even close to his pitch count. And he is out. Ernest Riles is up with one down here in the seventh. 
and that's going to be maybe a double double can i anybody for a double yes riles with a double and householder is up with one down and he's going to hit it up the middle can i tie the game i am not you know what with one out god with one out i'm not going to do it jim gantner up we're going to hope jim gantner can get a hit Hope he takes Bosman out of the game. He doesn't. But Jimmy Gantner is going to fly out to Stroud. Can I that get the run home? No. And so now it's up to Charlie Moore, and that's not good. Although he does have a hit. He brings in Horatio Pena to pitch, though. So I'm happy to see anybody but Bosman, really. And that's going to be maybe a ground out to Brinkman, and it is. So... Um, uh, so we did not get the run across that we needed. I am going to make a pitching change myself here. Um, we're going to take Haas out of the game and we are going to put in Raleigh fingers in his San Diego uniform, but really on the Brewers in 1985 and Riker greets him with what is probably a double it's a home run it's a home run so now washington has a three to one lead you bring in a great reliever like raleigh fingers and then everything falls apart ground out to molitor so there is one down del unser is up and del unser is going to pop out And now that brings up Frank Howard with two down here in the bottom of the eight. And he is going to hopefully fly out to Ogilvy. Looks like that's what's going to happen. And now we need two runs now. We're down three to one. Horatio Pena is still out there and Paul Molitor at the plate. Or three to two. We're, oh, okay. Oh, I thought we were down 3-1. All right, we're only down 3-2. Um, but our first batter's out. That brings up Robin Yount. We need a home run is what we really need. And that's going to be a ground out to Brinkman. That's not what we needed. And now Cecil Cooper. Got to hope Cecil Cooper can hit one out of the park. And he, they put him on first base, and that brings up Ted Simmons. Are they going to bring in a – no, they let Pena pitch to him. And can Simmons – is that a double? No, it's going to be a fly out to answer it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that was the bottom of the eighth. All right, so we still got another shot. All right, I don't know what I was thinking. So it is the top of the ninth. We're down 3-2. And that's a base hit for Epstein. That brings up Aurelio Rodriguez. So at least we got another chance. That's going to be deep, though. That could be a home run for Aurelio Rodriguez and put this really out of reach. Because now it's 5-2. We're going to need three runs in the ninth. And this team has only come up with two to this point. So coming up with three seems very unlikely. There is one down in Casanova at the plate. And he is going to hit a bullet drive to Riles, but it's caught. And that brings up Tim Cullen. Tim Cullen, I think he's pinch hitting for somebody. And Molitor throws him out. Pena is still out there. And Ben Ogilvy is going to greet him. We need three runs right here. Now, this time I'm right. This is the ninth inning, and we need three runs right here. And uh, that's not the way to lead it off with Ernie Riles now up and one down. And he is going to be out, and that brings up Householder. I'm going to pinch hit for Householder. Let's go to the bench who do we have 
Pena is a righty who's a 2R. The only lefty I got is Manning, but Manning's horrible. So we're going to go with Mark Bruhard. Yeah, let's go with Mark Bruhard. And there we go. Nice card from the 80s. That might be an 85 card. Let me know in the comments if you think it is. And Bruhard is out. And so that will be the game. Let's get the box score. Bosman for the Senators. And of course, I lose again. That's obvious. Um, Dick Bosman goes six and a third, allows seven hits and two earned runs, pitched great. And Pena pitched really great in relief of him, two and two thirds, no hits, no runs. Haas pitched pretty good. He, allowed, he went seven innings, allowed four hits, two earned runs, didn't walk anybody and struck out six, but Fingers came in and gave up three hits in two innings and three earned runs and really put us in a bad situation. So um, a, a situation that ended up being a loss for us is really what it was. So that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off with another loss.